What's up everybody? So here we go again today. I'm here with my boy Jono. I'm scoping out the scene. Where are we Last going today, scene. brother man? Tyrico. Tyrico Bay. So today we're going to a beach that we often overlook. It's right next door to Maracas. And it's truly a beautiful little beach. I used to not even bother to check here, but I went recently for a little photo shoot and I realized this beach is real nice. That's a nice beach. Real good for swimming. You can drive down in the sand, but we're going to talk a little more about that because people shouldn't really be driving on the beaches too much. Eh? It could harm turtles or anything, but that's our next story. But check it out. Early morning, so don't mind the sunlight on it. So I know there's a lot of glare there, but what you can't see over there, we'll show you here now. Because yet again, Jono and I have been blessed by the gods with almost an immaculate perfect day. So you swear Trinidad never has bad weather. Facts. Look at this water. Oh, that's beautiful. Though. So the place is gorgeous today. We will be flying the drone again in some above views. I'm going to send the swimmer man to swim. Pretty anyway, more. how are you feeling? Feeling good. Is Fun fact, this is also where I got married. Oh yes, Jono got married there. Eh? And how's that marriage going? Pretty good. Good, good. Pretty good. We're all about strong relationships on Trendy Surfer. <laughs> but anyway, guys, let's go and check out Tyrico. We'll show you a little drive in, where we park, what's going on in the beach, and just have a good time. So handle it. Let's go. Right peeps, so we've just reached on the beautiful Tyrico and I mean it's really a stunning day, I can't get over that already. They actually looks like they had some kind of um, feta something here last night. Feta on the beach, you know Trinis. So anyway, the first thing Jono and I would like to point out is I'll just show you exactly where we parked. So if you see here, it is technically on the beach. There's a the lifeguard hut and everything, but you'll see there's a kind of line here where up there is harder sand and more grass. Now what's important about that is this beach and many other beaches in Trinidad, people often drive down all up there on the shore, straight down the beach. And a big problem with that is many beaches in Trinidad, including this one, are turtle nesting sites. And you can easily drive over a nest, damage, kill an entire nest of turtles. It's real problematic. So do your best to avoid driving on beaches, especially the lower parts of the beaches near the water. You can literally be killing endangered animals. Please stop it. Park lower back or in car parks where necessary. Correct, what correct. do you feel about that? No, I think that's a good advice. Good I mean, advice. We don't want to hurt anything in any ecosystem. No, definitely not. So yeah, with that little disclaimer out of the way, it's a beautiful day. We're going to walk the beach, check it out, see what's the scene. And then of course, I'll give you some aerial shots. So let's go and see what we're looking at now. It's real blazing out here right now. I'm gonna show you the sun. We're good. Proper, proper heat. And I ain't put on no sunblock. But anyway, we've now reached a beautiful little river. Clear, clear. Super clear. So what do you think? At least this beach has a river. You could probably bring people who can't swim so well or if you're not really feeling the um, ocean. Probably. Yeah? 
Taste it, see if it, see if it good for drinking. You taste it, that's what you're here for. You're on the channel to be the taster and the adventurer. Wait, that's what you put me up as? That's why I put Jono as. But real talk, it's good about this beach, kind of like Marion River up the road. Um, they have this river here, it seems pretty clean. And that's a good option for people who are not strong swimmers. It's quite shallow, but it's also clear and beautiful. If you take a look. Real, real pretty. This river changes often though, eh? Say what you have to say, man. Say what you have to say. No, well, last time I was here, it was just a piece going up there. And then this part going out to You're the ocean right. didn't exist. So what John was saying is that the river does change up, so you never know what kind of shape of river you'll meet when you do come here. But nonetheless, at least you have the option of fresh water, and then of course, there's the salt water, which we're going to take a look at now. Real nice. You all see any blue skies above me? Real nice there. This is a Sunday by the way, so I hope people are out there checking out the beaches and things because you're probably getting real best weather. And then of course, the beautiful ocean around me. Good day for the beach, I'm not gonna lie. Real good day, look at all that sunshine. Alright guys, so this is a pretty decent swimming beach. It has a gradual slope going out. Um, it's not too rough most of the time, but they could still have a lot of currents from time to time, so still be careful. Beautiful beach and it's a beautiful day right now. Check out the water. So we're at the end of the beach now guys, the opposite end of where you enter and you'll see there's a little bit of some rocks, a little cave. So this is a good side of the beach to come if you want a little more quietness. Still nice to swim in and I believe even around this point there's a small beach that you could get to if you're a swimmer on the lowest tides but I don't recommend going around unless you're very confident in the water. And I think there might be like a little bay and some rocks there but I'll check out the drone to be sure. Look, Jono being risky. I can reachable. Reachable? Yeah. We, we swim in there for sure. Yeah. We get so you can get around it by swimming, but if you're not a strong swimmer, don't go say Trinity Surfer, tell you to try and go around the point of Tyreek, right? I ain't say that. That's what you're trying to get y'all to do, you know. Alan's an evil man. Alan is an evil man, you hear that? After I've given Jono a literal life. <laughs> You've given me a life? That's right. Okay. He needs to get a life. <laughs> <laughs> Found some nice caves on the far left of the beach, right by the entrance. Check it out if you get a chance. So good evening, boss. No, good sorry, evening. not good evening. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm morning. Nice what? hot sun. Nice hot sun. What's your name? My name is Chiny. Chiny? Everybody knows me as Chiny. I represent Chiny Beach Rentals at Tyrico Bay. So Chiny Beach Rentals at Tyrico Bay. Yeah. That's the link there? That's the link So there. when people come to Tyrico, how it is they can find you? They are less come in the centre by the lifeguard booth area mm. and because also I am the chairman but I am also a lifeguard as well too so I look after the people they just come in the centre they are up and down the beach and well my prices is be reasonable $60 for an ambula, $20 for a chair hence $100 for an ambula two chair combo sometimes you get a table with it okay yeah it's a nice safe environment you have people parking right here you're right there safe and nice here good to go good, good to, to go. enjoy so they're looking for chinese when they come to tyrico when, when they come to tyrico it's chinese beach rental blessing well, thank you very much yeah, have a great day brother man all right so i'm in the right hand corner of tyrico saw a little sliver of a beach right around the corner so i'm gonna try to get to that right now let's check it out Pretty much just got around by walking because the water is absolutely beautiful today but I wouldn't suggest it for, for anybody to be honest especially if you're a non-swimmer just in case but let's check it out little sliver of a beach 
Guys, check out the water, how clear. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Little house up there too. Guys, we have a new one. Tyrico Waterfall. Now I would go under, but I don't know if that's coming from our house. So I'm not about it. Not about it. These crabs. Where y'all going? Where y'all going? Where y'all going? Private beach, guys. My private beach. Small beach. Not bad. Anyway, there are people out there think Trinidad do have nice water. You know, let me just show you. In the meantime, John is so can I be live? Don't show them. Don't show them. Don't wife show them. Gonna coast when she sees us. My wife gonna coast. <laughs> weather. Check out real view now, bro. What's that, boy? Oh, mountains. Woo! That crazy view. Trinidad Northern Range. And look, Maracas. Oh, and they drawn there. Maracas over there. Real beautiful, yes. I wish all was at the beach today, boy. F f true fact, you are watching this video right now. Well, if you're watching it on the day I made it, which is Sunday today. What's the day today? I don't know. 
Whatever today's date is, it's August something. I don't even know. You see, we're so relaxed with the beach life. <laughs> Can't even figure out the date today anymore. Do you want to remember the date? Is it the 28th? The 28th? No, 27th. It's around there. It's around whatever Sunday came around the 28th or 29th of August. That's today. And this video was made in the morning and released in the evening. So, fun fact, we're actually enjoying the beach live. All that made a lot of no sense. So, let's go underwater. One, two, three. everyone so big blessings i hope you enjoyed this little trip to tyrico where you feel jono must love it must love it and good beach for families and right there next to maracas without all the maracas drama granted this is getting real crowded too i think it does. Yeah, super crowded a lot, of, a lot of people so yeah guys keep a clean scene please don't litter pick up some trash if you can when you go to a beach don't drive on the beaches protect the wildlife we had to start moving up as a society john any closing words get out and explore get out and explore you can go ahead do your thing